The property in question sits on two acres in Mengo, a Kampala suburb. It belongs to the family of a man who was identified as the late Ernesti Sempewa. It is also home to a number of Asian families who have lived here for over 20 years. In December 2015, a letter from the tenant's landlord indicated that the property lease would expire in October this year and called for it to be renewed. The tenants were not worried about the letter because most of them had already bought blocks they were living in. They say they were advised to do so by Muhammad Alibai, who is currently managing the estate. However, in May this year, after a meeting with the representatives from the same paper family, the tenants were requested to relinquish their ownership before the lease could be extended. Mr. Danani, who told me that the flat is his, I paid him, I paid his company in Kampala. That was I paid. You see? And I paid even with a banker's check. And after paying him, he told me now, go to Mr. Alibi, who will give you the certificate share. And that's what I did. The tenants also said they were never issued with any documentation showing that they had purchased the property. He never told me there is a lease or whatsoever, no. During a meeting with Muhammad Alibai, the tenants were told that the payment they made was meant for shares in the property. But did you know that uh, you had the right for... for I was business? aware of it. You are aware? Yes. And why did you know? So there is not an issue, there is just confusion amongst many stakeholders who do not understand the company law. The landlord did not attend the meeting today, but sent a letter through his lawyers. Part of the letter reads, It is on record that our clients have never entered into any sale agreement with any of the tenants and therefore can't be seen to be discussing issues of ownership with people he has no contractual obligations with. The tenants have not agreed to give up the property and have made a number of demands. No, because it's my flat, I bought it. With my age now, from where do I start afresh? The conflict has to be settled in less than four months for either parties to benefit. However, the landlord's requirement for the tenants to give up ownership rights means the families in the flats may be evicted. Walter Mwesije, NTV.